guys. It's Sunday, February 2nd. It's not morning. Let's see. 12.55 p.m. We've got um, bison bacon chili going in the crock pot. It is a um, altered version of our recipe because I made it a lot less spicy than Bob generally likes it. I will include the original recipe down below, but keep in mind, if you don't like spicy food, you want to take some of the chili powder and the habanero peppers and stuff like that out of it. Um, so adjust the spices to suit. Um, anyway, we've got that going. We've got some other Super Bowl food going. It's Super Bowl Sunday. And I'm, I'm not watching the Super Bowl. I'll be watching YouTube or something. But, you know, I've got the cooking apron on because, yeah. Anyway, now I'm in the art room and obviously vlogging. I'm going to be moving some paint around down there. And I have some there in clear bins. I'd like all the bins to look the same and be white. I know that's a weird thing, but... Yeah, so I'm going to have to change that. And then what else? Um, I did use up all of the spray inks that I wanted to use up. And our box for February is getting pretty full. So I saved, and I couldn't remember last night what they were called, but I saved, let's see, six bottles of um, this one, <laughs> Mixed Media Art Spray by Marabou. Um, I'm not a huge fan of spray inks, but it is the one when I want to use it that I do like. Um, generally though, if I want to spray something, paint or ink on something, I have a big thing of inks, of which I still need to go through. Um, and I'll just get a some kind of disposable or reusable little spray bottle, do a little bit for that project, and then dump the rest out and wash it out. Um, the sprayers get clogged on all of them, so it's a constant struggle. Anyway, they drive me crazy. I have all those cookie sheets have papers in them where I dumped the ink. The nonstick mat has some glitter glue where I squirted that out and it's drying so I can use the dry glitter glue as embellishments on paper clips and stuff of which I have a stack I need to do right there. Oops, right there. Anyway, a lot of projects to do. Never enough time to do them all. I added a second face to our big piece of paper. Yeah. Don't know if I like her or not, but she's there and that's what it is. So, you know, anyway. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. I will um, keep y'all posted if anything else interesting happens. I'm not anticipating it. We're just taking it at, easy at home. We may go out for a walk later. I don't know, but my knee's like a one maybe. So we'll see. All right, I'll be back. I don't know what time it is. It's like three o'clock or something. 3.49. Uh, football is playing and everybody's drinking or watching. I don't like football and I don't drink. So <laughs> um, I could spend time with my family, of course, and I will in a bit, but I thought I'd come out and get a walk in first while it's still light out. I'd rather not wait until football's over Everybody's been drinking too much and then try to go for a walk in the dark. Just seems like a recipe for a disaster to me.
Hey guys, it is Monday, February 3rd, and it's already well after lunch. I think it's, I don't know, probably almost two o'clock. I have no idea actually what time it is. I spent the morning doing all my writing and editing the regular vlog, editing the chronic pain vlog. If you want to see the chronic pain vlogs, you have to be a member of Art Through Chronic Pain. I'll leave the link in the description down below. I put some of the videos up here on YouTube, public and summer, unlisted for the people over on Facebook only. Anyway, I got that done. I got my face for today drawn. I decided after reading Jane, Jean Haynes' book last night, Paint Yourself Positive, I was inspired by what I read in her book to take another piece of watercolor paper that I had that had tons of inky marks on it that I actually started, I think back before we moved to Oregon. It had some collage and stuff on it too that I started last year. Anyway, I'm gonna write on it one positive word a day to try to just focus on positive things and not negative things um, in black paint pen, black Sharpie marker, paint something. So every day I'm gonna write one positive word on, word on that paper and then I'm gonna take that one down and I'm gonna draw a face on the other one for the whole month of February and we'll see what happens. Um, I think it might create something that's interesting and also might help me change my mindset about a few things. So it's all good, right? Anyway, if you wanna follow along with those um, videos, the videos are only gonna be for YouTube membership supporters and patrons over on Patreon. Um, sorry, um, but the still images of um, the progress on the boards will be available on social media, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, um, and over in um, either my Facebook business page or my Facebook group or both. Um, so follow me on the easiest places to follow me on Instagram because I'll all be on Instagram and uh, you can follow along with that and we'll see where it gets us. All right, I'll be back. Tuesday morning, February 4th, 9.18 a.m. Don't get excited, I looked already. And yes, even though I looked already, I almost said September. Yeah, that's a thing. I'll never get it straight. In 1,000 feet. I have a list of things I want to get done. Am I going to get them all done? I don't know. But um, I'm going to go to Michael's first and Cabela's. We're almost at a deer corn, so I'm going to do those two things first. I also want to pop by uh, the library, one or both libraries that are near here, and I need bottled water and I actually need some vitamins. So we'll see how many of those I get done before the appointment, and then I might be doing some of them after. The one I might put off is the library, I might just wait until the husband can come with me on Saturday, we'll see. So anyway, I will take you with me where I can, and we'll see what happens. My knee feels good this morning, by the way. It's like a one or a zero this morning, despite the fact that I went to the gym last night, so it's working. All right, I'll be back. My anxiety is not great today. Um, over the weekend, my dad had a blood pressure scare, so that was frightening, but he's going to be okay. And then there's just the whole coronavirus thing going on that my husband texted me this morning that his company has suspended all international travel, um, non-critical international travel without, um, they've suspended all non-critical international travel and critical international travel requires executive approval. They've never done that before, even in, in half a mile. So that's pretty serious. They do have employees that are stuck in China. They have some employees that are Chinese citizens and, you know, we're all concerned. So, and as of this morning, there's 20,000 people infected and almost 800 dead. So, so far, none in Oregon. Cross your fingers. Anyway, um, in 1, as I mentioned it is we're doing the chronic pain thing, right? And my anxiety is part of my chronic issue. So, 
um, that's why I'm mentioning it. And if you're like me, then you understand. And, you know, we do art. We try to keep busy and do other things to stay on top of it yeah. if needed. And, yeah, do what you have to so it doesn't send you off the deep end, right? All right, I'm going to go run some errands and I'll be back. So I'm out of physical therapy and um, it didn't hurt going in. It was like a zero or a one. Of course now my knee actually still doesn't hurt. It's a little bit sore, um, but of course the muscles and things they were pushing on around the knee are now sore too. So anyway, I've got the brace back on. I'm gonna go run by the two libraries and then I have to go to like Rite Aid or Safeway or someplace. I need some, I'm running out of one of my vitamins, one of my supplements. So they didn't have it at Fred Meyer. I got everything else except that, but I literally am out of one of my supplements. So I need to do that before I go home. I think the one thing I may not do is drop off the art supplies at the family shelter. I may put that off just another day or two, but I think I'm gonna try to get everything else done and then go home and have lunch. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. guys it's terrible lighting here we go was that better it's wednesday february 5th 308 or so p.m 30, yeah 308 um and it's gray and cloudy outside and cold and that's how hence the terrible lighting i'm in the pacific northwest i don't know what to tell you anyway i spent the morning doing a lot of artwork chatting with uh my friend barbara clark and uh, my table is covered in stuff. All good, because it's all art that's drying and stuff. And I got my word on my piece of paper. I don't mean to make y'all dizzy. There we go. Got my word on my piece of paper for the day. I got a face done for the day. I finally, after day five, figured out, I think, a good um, place for the tripod back there. 
that I think will work going forward. I am filming the faces um, for a, um, da, da, da. <laughs> I'm filming the faces, doing the faces vlog style, and I'm putting the video over in Patreon and, and or for YouTube members who are, um, both of whom are supporting the free content here on YouTube. So if you want to see the footage of me actually creating the faces, you have to go over there. One is $1 a month. One is $2 a month. So yeah, so whichever one works for you, do that one. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> um, you can also shop in my Etsy store, uh, put some money in the Amazon, um, PayPal tip jar. Um, there's lots of other ways. So they're all in the video description. No matter where you're watching um, any of my videos, there usually is a description attached because they're usually on YouTube. And so click on that and yeah, if you can't find it, message me. I'll get it to you. Anyway, um, I think I'm done up here for the day, maybe. I think I probably should go downstairs and do some actual chores like dishes and laundry. Yeah, um, but I am, I, I was sorting out my stash of words and sayings and I took almost all the fortune cookie fortunes I had in my stash and I covered two pages. So that is drying and I'm going to, I have ideas for creating an art journal page on top of that where all or most of the words will, will, will show. So that's going to be good. I took the extra paint from creating today's face. And I covered another journal page with that, which is drying. Um, and I'll be creating a journal page out of that one. Worked some more on my Jean Haynes book. Uh, making, whoops, these flowers today, abstracted flowers today. And I'm working on a bunch of paper clips. Paper clips. Yes, I haven't given up on the paper clips. Um, and I still have some more of the painty papers drying from using up a bunch of ink sprays. I did go through my regular ink basket, um, some more stashes of acrylic paint that I found, and I'm going. I purged some of it and uh, cleaned up. Cleaned up. I made things make more sense, and um, I'm going to take what I'm getting rid of over to the family shelter on Friday. I think after. I have physical therapy. I'm going to take a bag of art supplies over to them. Um, and I did get rid of the little drawers of words that were up there, right there. If you don't know what I'm talking about, in my old video, I had a small set of drawers in my old video, in my old studio, a small set of drawers, which is where I kept all my words and my fortune cookie fortunes, my tea bag words, my words clipped out of magazines. And I, cause you, as you know, I use words a lot in my art. Um, anyway, I found that I wasn't using the words that were up there on the shelf in this new space. For those that don't know, I moved about a year and a half ago. Um, instead, I've been using, let's see if I can get it out, words out of here. This is a series of pencil pouches put together with binder rings. And I have my word stickers, my, wor my words that have been clipped, my tea bag words, everything's sorted and organized in there and it lives right here by the table. I find I use that all the time and I wasn't using the words that were up there. So I cleaned out the little shelf thing that was up on the up high that was up there, purged a bunch of words, um, sorted and organized what I was keeping into the one that's here. And I um, put three little baggies of the extra words into that box that we're saving in the closet. <laughs> so remember that box I talked about last week that I'm filling up in the closet? I'm gonna purge and send off to somebody. It's words. Um, there's three bags of words. <laughs> Some of them are word magnets. Yeah, there's all kinds of words. So anyway, so that's done. And I decided to, on these faces, to keep my people notebook out where I have like reference photos of faces and face or facial expressions 
it'll it'll help me I think in making the faces on the on the board and th this is my word one these are the faces so far I do share them on social media, so if you want to see them every day as I do them, um, follow me over on like Instagram or something. You can click on my link tree list of links and follow, uh, find all my social media links there. It'll take you to link tree website, and then that'll give you a list of links. Anyway, I think that's it for the moment. I'm going to go change some laundry and do some dishes and that kind of stuff. All right, I'll be back. I also think we're going to the gym tonight, so I have things I need to get done before we do that. All right, I'll be back. Good morning. It's February 6th. It's 10, 15 a.m. Thursday, and I am, I've decided to, um, I'm gonna go take whatever they don't want to Goodwill and check the PO box and stuff like that. I already did my face for the day and my word for the day. I'll insert pictures here somewhere. If you want to see the video of me painting all the faces, you need to be a in one point two member of the support community here on YouTube or over on Patreon. Both are very low fees. Um, it's a way to support the free content here on YouTube. So anyway, they get the video. And uh, yeah. Um, so I already did that. I decided tomorrow I don't know how my knee is going to feel after therapy. So maybe it would be better if I ran errands today. Just in case I feel like just going straight home tomorrow. So anyway, that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I've mentioned it before. It's the Good Family Shelter here in Tigard. And um, they took all of it. They took the media, medium priority mail flat rate box full of strange bits and everything else. So yay. Yeah, so anyway, they took, I said, I have this crazy box full of collage bits, bits and cutout words and, you know, strange stuff. I'm a mixed media artist. I said, do you want that too? She said, sure. <laughs> so I dropped it all off and there you have it. And for those who are thinking it, no, I didn't get a receipt. No, I'm not doing it for a tax write-off. I did it anonymously and I didn't get any receipt or anything for it. Um, it's just a good deed and, you know. It shouldn't be about getting something back always. So anyway, that's it for the moment. I'm gonna go, I have one other bag of like clothing. So I'm gonna take that over to Goodwill. I'm kind of thinking and wondering if there's other things I can do today. I do have my list of things that I was supposed to do the other day. But I got all this done, I think. Good morning. It is Friday morning, February 7th. It's 7.13 a.m. Don't get excited. Obviously, I'm in the car, and so, yeah, I've been up for a while. I have physical therapy this morning, and um, I think the only thing on the agenda is physical therapy this morning, and then some, go, to go home and get some stuff done in the art room. I don't think I have anything else on the agenda today. Um, I don't know what we're doing for dinner. Generally, Friday is some kind of pizza night. Um... We don't, I hate to tell everybody at home, we don't have enough pizza at home, but I'm not stopping at the store to go get it. So they're going to just have to work it out. <laughs> anyway. I'm too tired to think of anything else this morning. I do have my coffee with me. Because, you know, yeah. Okay. Holy cow, I'm done with physical therapy. Uh, I feel like I'm a mess. Um, I went in, my knee was probably a zero, a one, and I came out, it's probably a one, two. I expect the pain level to go up a little bit, if only because 
there after you do your exercises they do some manipulating of the knee and the leg and so actually when he does that what hurts is not the knee it's the muscles in my thigh because he pushes on some of the muscles and the tendons and yeah if you all have had knee surgery and you've had physical therapy you know exactly what i mean and you're like nodding your head anyway <sighs> i need my coffee i was texting with the husband while i was laying down on the table with ice and we're gonna just do take out probably probably pizza caboose so anyway we're gonna do take out tonight some kind of take out or something that I don't have to stop and pick up on the way home so I'm gonna go home I'm gonna finish my coffee I'm gonna have some breakfast and go upstairs and turn the computer on you do smart sounds like a plan to me what are you gonna do Cross your fingers, people. I've been trying for so long to get my old iPod, which is still working, but dying a slow death. And the music that's on here, and more importantly, the playlists that are on here, I got them synced to my iMac desktop, but then I couldn't get the playlists on my other devices. I got the music library, but not the playlists. And I couldn't figure out what was wrong. It was driving me crazy. Apple tech support people were absolutely no help and I think she actually might have given me the wrong information. I might have just figured it out. Cross your fingers. Yeah. Give it a few minutes and we'll see what happens. Okay, while we're waiting to see if that is going to work with my music situation and my playlist, um, I've been doing a lot of catching up on projects lately. We're working on the face a day as you all know, and that's where we're currently at for February, it's day seven. We're doing a word a day on a different sheet of paper. I've been doing a lot of watercoloring and art journaling, which I need to work on a journal page this afternoon. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera on. Nothing like recording all of that and not having the camera on. So anyway, I've been doing a lot of watercoloring lately along with art journaling and other things. One thing I'm noticing with this really big palette, which I love because all my colors are here, um, but the lid was always flopping down backwards. I don't use it to color mix. I kind of wanted it to stand up and especially to have the color key up against it so that I could easily see which colors are where down here. Um, but I was propping it up with water bottles and things behind it. It was very inefficient. It was falling down. And I realized, I thought, huh, I wonder if I have a book stand or something. And I realized I had this, this thing here. It's an embroidery stand. It's for um, holding up your embroidery charts, your color keys for embroidery. When you're working on a piece of embroidery, you can get them at any sewing and craft store in the embroidery department. They're widely available. They're not expensive to begin with, and if you have a 40% off coupon, they're even cheaper. Anyway, I had this one, so I used a big binder clip to clip it to the lid, so the lid stays resting against it, and then I used two smaller clips to clip the color key to said lid. So now the whole thing stands up, it's very stable, and I can bring my journal down here. I can quickly see which colors are where. I've got, if I'm working out of a book, which I am right now, I got that there, my brushes, my water, my rag, and surplus tools, all readily within hand. Perfect. So my point of that is not to brag, but when you have situations like that in your art room, try to think outside the box and what do you already own that maybe can solve the problem without spending any money? You might have something, you never know. All right, I'll be back. So I gotta say, it's working. <laughs> Uh, you know, I got frustrated doing the Googling and, because I couldn't figure out what I wanted. So I thought I'll call, I'll, uh, I should not call, I'll instant message with Apple support and see if they can help me figure out why my playlists aren't syncing um, with my other devices, my playlists that were on my computer. And um, at the same time, make sure the computer music and playlists are synced to the cloud, which is what everything else is connected to. Because I thought maybe it wasn't, but I didn't know where to look to see to check that. Anyway, she said, oh, you can't do that. 
um, in reference to the playlists. They don't transfer over, she says. Well, yes, they do. <laughs> and I figured it out without her. And it's working. <sighs> anyway, it's transferring over. I have a lot of music, so it's going to take quite a while. But it's the point is, it's working. Yay! All right, I want to also tell you, I was playing with some embossing powders. I have a bunch of Seth Apter's uh, big textures and different kinds of his embossing powders. And I didn't have any idea if you could emboss through a stencil, um, especially a detailed one. And if you could, which of his, his, oops, which of his powders would work and which wouldn't. And I was working on the page that I covered in Fortune Cookie Fortunes, which I think I showed you all already. And so I used one of my new stencils coming up, um, Silence. And the answer is yes. Um, the finer textured powders will give you a better impression than the thicker, more um, coarse ones, which this is a couple of different ones, but this is one of the core, the main part of it is a coarser one, but I like the way it turned out anyway, but the point is you can, there is a trick to it, um, and you do, I do re recommend some experimenting. If y'all would like to know what the trick is and you want me to film a video on it, let me know in the comments below. All right, that's it for now. I'll be back. Hey guys, it's like 6.30 in the evening on Saturday. It's been a long day, but it was a fun day. Um, we went to the gym this morning. I got some, if you're watching this, you got the, you saw the footage I shot there or still images I shot there because I'll put some things in. Um, and then we spent a long time today out just running a bunch of errands, um, going to a big box discount store, Costco and here in the states for those that don't live here costco it's like sam's club if you have sam's club near you so i hear i've never been to one anyway um we went to fred meyer which is kroger owned by kroger we went to the mall we went to um somewhere else i can't think of right now <laughs> Oh, the um, Portland Running Company to get new shoes. Anyway, it was a really long day. And when we came back, I was so tired and my knee was bothering me. So I sat with ice on it. I got the art I wanted to do done today before we left the house. So that was done. But yeah, my daughter at Costco, I guess, found these. She says they're really soothing. So she gave me one. She found a whole big bag uh, box of them at Costco. And she hasn't, said she hasn't seen it in a long time and... It was something she got in a beauty uh, box at one point, a subscription box um, that she hasn't seen in, in a while. So she was surprised to see them at Costco. So anyway, I was in the bathroom putting it away. There's TVs and stuff on out there. And yeah, so anyway, so it's been a long day, but it's been a fun week. I got a lot of really great art done this week. Um, I knew I wasn't going to get too much done today because it is Saturday and it's kind of family day. Um, tomorrow I might go out to the craft store. I have a coupon, so I might want to do that. So we'll see if I get out and do that or not. I don't know. Anyway, it's been a fun week. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. Um, I will leave any relevant links in the video description as per always. There's lots of ways to dis to support the free content here on YouTube. Um, and over in the Facebook art groups, I have a Patreon. I have YouTube membership. 
uh, Amazon affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any extra, but I get a little money back if you use my storefront link. Um, I have an Etsy shop. I have my own design line of stencils and stamps and stuff, so you can go shop over there. Original art that you see in the videos and some of it is already listed over on Etsy. Is always, everything is always for sale, as my husband says. So if you've seen something that you've seen me make that you like, that you think that you might want to buy, let's talk. My email address, happy mail address, all that stuff's in the video description, so check it out. I think that's it. I can't think of anything else. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and subs blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.